Yo, YouTubers. I've just got a new netbook and I was going to try and do a, a live review. It would get OBS going at the same time and I haven't worked it out. But anyway, I've got a very special review for you guys. Very special beer review indeed. You seeing it right, amigo? It's finally happened. Cannabis beer has finally come my way. And this was in Home and Bargain, 99 pence a bowl. I take it it's like a sort of, um, you know, the tequila things, what they call Desperados, but a cannabis version. 5% volume. Now, I haven't got a fridge still, guys. That noise in the background's me. Cheesy bites being cooked. Mac and cheese things. But look, guys, cannabis beer. <laughs> All right. We'll see if it's cannabis beer, won't you? Hey, I'll find out. Why? Well, if anyone's gonna find out, it's me, isn't it? Hey. Oh my word! Why this so tiny? Brewed and bottled in France under license, and distributed by. Something, 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 France. Alcohol abuse is dangerous to your health. How am I supposed to read that? It says... Ingredients, water, barley, malt, gluten, Maize, natural flavours, hop extracts, um, beer flavoured with hemp, beer flavoured with hemp. Oh, wow, that's an interesting one, isn't it, guys? Five percent infused with cannabis flavours. Let's find out, shall we? Let's bloody well get on with it and find out, shall we? And um, I haven't chilled this at all. It's really, obviously, this should be freezing cold. And um, I've had it on my windowsill instead. There we go. There's the company, X Mark. Flavored. Flavoured beers, X mark, bold mixed drinks. It's the company X mark. Mad one, eh, guys? Totally mad one. I don't know why this one's appeared in the path. Let's see what's in there. In the glass. Looks like beer. Very nice. Clear bottles. A bit dubious about that though, folks. Obviously, this is meant to be seen as a Mexican... Sort of Mexican thing, I suppose, you know? Yeah, this is cannabis or hemp beer from Xmark Brewery, whoever they are. That's a well dig into that one. Looks lovely. Get bready beer. Hoppy, very hoppy. 
kind of orangey almost, citrusy. I haven't chilled this, like I say, this is like, it's been on the windowsill. So it's not really cold, but, you know. Um, yeah, it's, it's got a hoppy, almost like an IPA aroma to it. Quite spicy. It's meant to be like weed, isn't it? It's meant to be cannabis. 5%. Have a come shot. Looks really cool. You know, like in the in the glass and that. By the way, this is history in the making. This is history. It's and it's like what? It's uh, it's 1853. It's 1853. <laughs> Which is just like what about seven minutes to seven on the 14th of September. Lovely foamy white. Thick foam. As I say, that should be chilled properly. I haven't really done that. It reminds me of a brew dog punk, the aroma. That's what I'm expecting in the taste division. I don't know what to expect here, guys. X Mark Cannabis Beer. Pelliar. Very tame, very delicate, very watery rice, but lovely delicate full body beer flavour, not tasting anything cannabis in it, but it's got that hempy taste, you know, like the planty flavour thing, but mainly I suppose it's just a beer. It's very light and I mean the the bubbles you know the gum shot sort of as it's set on down you can see it's got like a homebrewy look about it like delicious delicious um you know, in the glass, I wish it was chilled proper. I'd be really, really enjoying it because I'm really thirsty. That's why I'm doing these reviews. It's a nice beer, that. Oh, I don't know what to make of that. Anyway, look at this, guys. Here's my latest computer. You know what I bought to do some, like, trying to do live streaming and that kind of stuff on the move. I've been trying, that's what I'm saying. I can't do nothing without all this stuff, can I? You know, just got this thing. It's like, it's like £100, you know, 140 quid. Like a little tiny laptop. You know, like a, little, like a little tiny laptop and it's just got a little built-in crappy like 15 gigabytes spare hard drive in it like or something. There's a space in it for an SSD though. But just for live streaming and things, I mean, you know, I've got to be out and about and be able to do things live streaming. Camping, whatever. But anyway, so I bought that brand new, 140 quid. It's bloody marvellous. Anyway, this beer, delicate, bready, nothing cannabisy whatsoever, and I don't know if there's any effect in it. It's like saying, "Ooh, this is like having cannabis." I'm not getting any of that at all. But it's a really tasty beer, like and cool little bottle, isn't it? For the collector's items, you know what I mean? Lovely little souvenir. It's coming, like, it's coming guys, it's coming, legalisation, you'll see. All the people who are already involved with weed will be millionaires, won't they? 
trillionaires. I don't know. I'm not bothering myself. I just love this. But that is looking great in the glass. Really enjoying this. I'm going to open another one immediately to blast it. I'm doing a blast beat. Floral. Floral flavour to it, like, but I get really nice log again. Another one, but dead smooth log. It reminds me of like a Bud Light sort of thing, like a or a Coors Light, you know, a dead light beer, but fluffy, <laughs> really fluffy. I need to get a battery for my busk machine, don't I? Anyway, I'm just open, cracking all one of these open, just straight in there, just to get. I don't have to review or read or anything, do I? It's another one of them. I'm just getting in, just seeing what this does. <laughs> okay. Quick. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh. Don't mix up the original bottles, mate. Do you know what I mean? So stupid and sad to me. There's the original review bottle that goes over there. A special club for the original. And this one is the second one. That's what we're doing now. Bottle number two. Let's go for the poo. <laughs> Just get into it. It's a little bit more chilled. I don't know why. I tell you, it's nice. It's got a spiciness to it. It's got a spiciness to it. It does remind me of a sort of um, Corona or uh, one of those beers. Light Mexican thing. Mm. I wonder if the weed in it is legitimate. Okay. Well. I wouldn't say it's mind blowing or anything like that. I don't know if I'm getting any effects of it in a cannabis sense. It's on a pipe of CBD to check it compared. <laughs> oh, I like that, but it's not mind blowing. It reminds me of so many things. It's kind of lightweight, it's garden material. Mm, it reminds me of stubbies, you know, little stubbies, little French stubbies. It's got a lovely cannabis kind of thing going on there, like, you know what I mean? That's like, I can taste the, the plants in it. Mm, ooh, like a grassy flavour, but it's nice, it's really nice. Not spectacular though. That's why. I'm going to give that an 8 out of 10. It's an 8 out of 10. It's quite gassy. You know, it's quite gassy, like, you know what I mean? You can belch, like, proper. Maybe it's designed to, like, you're all sitting there at the dinner table, your mum's there, you, you, you sit, you, you're a boy who's just met a chick and you're like 16, 17, you're just meeting your air parents for the first time. You've down one of these to calm your nerves and she goes, Oh, so you, you must be Mark up, mustn't you? And you go, Yeah! <laughs> big, big fucking honourable belt. 
Um, flavoured beers, bold mixed drinks, infused with cannabis flavour. Infused with cannabis flavour, what does that mean? Uh, can we peel the label? Can I 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 peel the label? From this little bottle I collect them, you see. Collect the labels, collect the labels. Alright, I'm really bored of myself here, mate. Hemp. 5%. Yeah, it's an 8 out of 10 with that one. But it's quite refreshing, I can imagine it being really tasty in a summer hot day, chill or all that. Like, we'll get to try some of it. Do it, we'll do it, we'll, we'll give it a go. Alright, thanks for watching, I'll see you later. Oh, what's that, uh, Eric Lad? The Eric Lad fella. Oh, Eric, welcome! <laughs> oh shit! That's not paused. <laughs>